We are listening to Bridge Creek as it's entering into the upper mill pond, but we call it the upper mill pond. Upper Bates Mill Pond. Now it's going to become a body of water for the Bates Park. Uh, got activity here in these flowers. Uh, got uh, got these little guys working diligently before winter comes. Got the white butterflies that are tearing up the pine trees, I'm told. I don't know if that's the same species or not. Little butterflies getting some nutrition before winter comes in. Greenhorn Mountain there, way in the backdrop. Ooh, I see a hint of sunshine. See a hint of sunshine. Power clouds so that we can get some sunlight on this. It'd be a lot more beautiful. You can hear the crane down there in the distance picking up the remains of the kiln, hauling it off. Yeah, so she's coming down piece by piece, loading her up, hauling her away. Chunk at a time, she's getting smaller. This will all be flattened off. Nice, beautiful park area the next time I come back, whenever that might be. Hopefully soon. Good size one there, he's gonna be sticking in that truck. Here it is. All right. Progress, that's what we like. I'm gonna tell you a little story here about this corner that just is uh, uh, just below the upper mill pond and uh, going down into Bates. Um, this this corner here, Raymond Brooks, somewhere around oh wow, I would you know 1950. Five to 1960 roughly. Raymond Brooks had an old Model A or Model T. And there was a bunch of us in that thing. We were going up around this road uh, a little too fast. 
and somewhere we ran into somebody, hit somebody, and uh, the radiator broke or radiator hose broke and steam was coming out of it like crazy. And somebody yelled, it's going to blow up, it's going to blow up. And we bailed out of that Model T and it didn't blow up. But uh, can you imagine running into somebody headlong, head, front end crash at this little dinky corner? Now, I don't know how fast he was going, but he must have been moving. Pretty good clip not to be able to stop it in time. Okay, and that's just the reservoir up there. And again, this is where the dry kill went. And this is this is a corner. It must have been right about right about just to the right of my car there where we smashed into somebody because that would be the biggest blind spot that I can see. Anyway, that was just one memory that I had. It was a little exciting. Uh, it's kind of totaled out Raymond's Model A, Model T as I remember, but uh, all in the good life and times of Bates, Oregon. It's August 31st, 2010, and uh, this is probably the lowest the lake will get as soon as we start getting some fall rains. It'll start rising it's bridge creek again entering into the lake beautiful little location <laughs>